Are you modeling? Today, I am with Sandy Friedenthal. He is an independent consultant in MBSC. He previously worked at Lockheed Martin, a large aerospace corporation, where he was responsible for advancing the practice of model based systems engineering across the company. He was a leader of the effort to develop the OMG systems modeling language, which is called SysNL, and is co author of this famous book, A Practical Guide to SysNL. This is a Japanese version, by the way. He also is co chair of the INCOC Model Based Systems Engineering Initiative. Hi, Sandy. Let me ask you some questions about MBSC and SysML. Kenji-san, thank you very much. I look forward to it. So how does model-based systems engineering, or MBSC, relate to systems engineering? Okay, Kenji-san. Um, systems engineering is a, is a multidisciplinary approach mm -hmm. to engineering, and its intent is to ensure that all the pieces work mm -hmm. together as a whole and nice. achieve the objectives of the whole. Mm -hmm. And you can contrast that with other engineering disciplines, such as electrical or mechanical or software. So in electrical engineering, for example, the emphasis is on the electrical aspects of the system. In mechanical engineering, similarly, mm -hmm. their emphasis is on mechanical aspects and so forth. So in systems engineering, we have to address the concerns that span the different mm -hmm. disciplines to address the concerns of the whole. So across the mechanical, electrical, mm -hmm. and software, and also across the subsystems. So you may have a subsystem designer who focuses on this subsystem, another subsystem designer focuses on this, the system engineer spans mm -hmm. across. So that's basically what systems engineering, how we think of systems engineering. So how does MBSC relate to system mm -hmm. engineering? Well, it turns out MBSC is just mm -hmm. an approach to, to oh, perform systems engineering. But the emphasis is placed on, on a system model mm -hmm. and controlling, managing and controlling that system model throughout the life cycle of the development mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. system. And that is a primary focus for this. Why do we do MBSC? Okay, so with MBSC, we often contrast mm -hmm. it with a more traditional document-based approach mm -hmm. to system engineering. I see. I see. And when, in the more traditional approach, um, you generate many different uh, artifacts that describe mm -hmm. your system, mm -hmm. but that information is captured in different artifacts, such as uh. spreadsheets or Word documents right, right. or uh, perhaps PowerPoint or Visio. Yeah, we usually do that a lot. We do <laughs> that a lot. And, and in so, so being, it's, this information is spread across mm -hmm. many disparate uh, documents. And uh, this contrasts with a model-based approach. Mm -hmm. And in the model-based approach, we're actually capturing the same information mm -hmm. or similar information, but we capture it in a, in a system model. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, we have uh, a coherent model of the system that is more uh, traceable and it's mm -hmm. more consistent mm -hmm. and uh, often more precise mm -hmm. than if you captured that same information in the more traditional document-based oh, approach. See. I see. Mm -hmm. Then, how does SysML relate to MBSC? So, SysML is, is a modeling language that describes a system, and we refer to it as an enabler of MBSC. Ah, enabler. And so you can make an analogy between the SysML as a language and mm. MBSC as more of an activity, if you will. I see. So the analogy, might, you might think of it as uh, uh, somebody who plays an instrument, and they read sheet music, and the sheet ah. music describes mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. uh, the music. Mm -hmm. And uh, the violin or the instrument is more or less the uh -huh. tool, and uh, the person who's playing is is performing uh, and playing that mm -hmm. instrument, and uh, you know he has to know how to play that instrument and read that music. So it's kind of analogous uh -huh. to that. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, SysML is the language, and it describes many aspects of your system. Uh, for example, it can describe uh, what the system does how its parts are interconnected, mm -hmm. uh, various properties of the system and their parametric relationships, 
uh, requirements on the system and things of that sort. So SysML is a modeling language to describe your system. MBSE is how you perform the system engineering using models. I see, I see. What are some of the essential aspects of an MBSE approach? Kenji-san, uh, very good question. Um, let me answer that from two perspectives. So let me start from the perspective of an MBSE practitioner. Mm -hmm. So as a, as a practitioner of MBSE, you have to learn a modeling language, mm -hmm. such as SysML. You have to learn how to use a modeling tool. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn a model-based systems engineering method. I see. And the method describes the how to perform the systems engineering with models. Okay. Now, from an organizational perspective, what they need to provide and what's essential there is that they provide the infrastructure to mm -hmm. enable MBSE. And what do I mean by infrastructure? Well, for starters, we're talking about providing the tools and the tool integration, mm -hmm. um, the, the uh, processes and methods, uh, the training uh, needed to develop the skills, and all of that constitutes the, the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And finally, the organization must uh, deploy this capability or make it available to programs mm -hmm. so that practitioners can, in fact, apply mm -hmm. MBSE to the programs. I see. Okay. I see. So it's a long way. It, it takes time, mm -hmm. and when you, when you do this, uh, it's very important to do it in an incremental fashion. Ah, so you don't I try see. and do all of MBSE all oh, at I one see. time, but do it very incrementally. So it's like a learning process. It's very much a learning process. I see. And you learn as you go, and you fold that back in mm -hmm. to, your, to your approach. I see. Okay, thank you very much, Sandy. Kenji-san, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much for your great talk.